What up, Brick Squad? I am in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm linking up with the homie Jelly Roll. I am gonna spend a few days here. I'm gonna relax. I got the studio house all to myself. My dude always takes care of me whenever I'm in town. Okay, today's video is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna let you guys in on the psychology behind how I create my workouts. There's not much to it. I'm a very simple guy, especially nowadays. I've been in this vibe where I wanna get in and out the gym in 30, 40 minutes, and I'm enjoying that. So, I'm gonna let you guys in. I'm gonna be doing this workout in his garage, at his house. So, this is his studio house. His house is about a few blocks away. So, let's run over there real quick. So I wanna let you guys in all the way on the psychology behind my process, right? Because the psychology behind my process is how I develop my relationship with exercise. You wanna be intentional about the way you develop your relationship with exercise. Your relationship with exercise is probably the most important relationship in your life, believe it or not. Not your wife, not your kids, it's your relationship with exercise. So the first thing I do when I'm about to work out is I check in with myself. Mentally, physically, how am I feeling? What do I feel like doing today? Do I feel like lifting? Do I feel like doing hit? Do I feel like just doing cardio? Do I feel like walking? Do I feel like stretching? What do I feel like doing today? That's the first question I ask myself. And from there, I make my decision. So here, this is what I have access to. You got the dumbbells over there. Uh, a barbell. This is a bench, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a bench. We got a squat rack, another bench, air assault bike, some more dumbbells, some kettlebells over there in the cut, and some boxing equipment. All right, so with these options, I'm probably just gonna do a circuit style workout. I could, I could do a little intensity today because that's just how I'm feeling. Most of the time I don't. I don't like intensity in my workouts, but today I feel like I can give a little intensity. So yeah, I'm gonna do a circuit workout. I do three exercises, three rounds, and then I, I go to another circuit. So I don't know, I'm, and I'm just freestyling. I'm gonna see what they have. Now here's the thing guys, you wanna study exercises. You wanna have a lot of exercises in your head that you know, that you practice, that you've experimented with, that way, when you're in these situations, you kind of have an idea, okay, what exercises I like, which ones work, the muscles that I'm trying to work, which is you want to work all of them. So you want to focus mainly on compound exercises, exercises that, that activate muscles in multiple parts of your body at the same time. You don't want to be in here doing bicep curls. I mean, you can if you want to. Matter of fact, let me not tell you what to do. You do what makes you happy, straight up. Anyway, let me get to this workout. So I'm showing you guys this workout to give you some ideas, but what I want everyone listening to this right now to do is to adopt the no pressure approach when it comes to exercise. Just don't put pressure on yourself. Have zero expectations. I mentioned this in a few videos before. Make the goal to just walk into the gym or to just start your workout, whether, you know, if you're working out at home, that applies to that. But don't put pressure on yourself. Use your energy, your willpower to focus on nutrition because that is where the magic happens. Your body changes because of what you eat. There are people who lose weight without exercising at all. So just keep that in mind. I do want you to exercise, it's very important. But in the beginning, you're, you'll be dating. You guys are dating. You and exercise are dating. So you wanna do things to woo it into your life. You wanna make sure that you are finessing it and you are massaging it and, and working it into your life in a way where it's gonna stick around long term. In a way where you guys will eventually get married and spend happily ever after together. But if you're doing things in the beginning, just trying to impress exercise, but that's not, you're not really being yourself and you're not developing that genuine bond, then exercise is not gonna stick in your life long. So just be true to yourself and where you are with exercise. If you're not, if you haven't been exercising long and you don't really have that amazing bond with exercise, then I want you to start off slow. Take things slowly, work your way into it. Go maybe two or three times a week. Go maybe 25 minutes 
and then eventually you'll build this foundation of, a, of an amazing relationship that you can build upon that's when you can start worrying about macros and bodybuilding and burpees and bro splits and all this other stuff that's when you can worry about it but in the beginning focus on developing that amazing bond man like get let y'all get to know each other really well and that's where the magic is going to happen but that only happens by being consistent and you have to take your time just take your time listen to me prioritize consistency make that your goal consistency and two of the major keys to consistency is accountability and community and that's why i created my facebook group listen if you are serious about transforming your body i want you to join my facebook group it is a paid facebook group guys you have you will have to make a small investment but the value that you will get will supersede that investment a hundred times over i do live q a's just for my insiders i'll answer your questions personally once a week join the bricks fitness insiders facebook group the link is in the description it is 14 dollars a month for a limited time the price is going to go up as the demand increases so take advantage of this beginner offer right now and there's tons of resources the most important one being accountability and community so check it out the link is in the description I, you know i figure if you can keep the workouts 30 40 minutes max it you want to you don't want exercise or nutrition to to like inhibit your life too much you don't want it to like get in the way of so the, the more the more it can fly under the radar the more likely people be, will stick to it right you feel what i'm saying but we got these expectations of how it's supposed to look or you know I'm supposed to be in a gym hour and a half. Like, nah, you don't have to do that. You can work out 15 minutes a day. Well, see, the biggest misconception would be somebody would look at you and they'd say, I can't spend three hours in a day like he does. And I don't see him. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what people think. Yeah, that and, would be the perception. Yeah, right? and, and, and I guess I got to be more vocal about the fact that that's not what I do. Right. And, and that's why I'm trying to be more vocal. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with exercise just like everybody else. Because as a big dude, that's how I look at fit dudes like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I wish I had time to sit at the gym all day and get swole. Yeah, yeah. Then exactly. I watch you come in here and do a 45 minute workout, and I'm like, shit, I do have 45 minutes though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like. And, and, and a bunch of shit. I use some dumbbells, some kettlebells, and a mat. Yeah. And, I, and that's it. Jump ropes. Yeah. That's all it takes, bro. We ain't trying to be bodybuilders. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's a thing, too, man. When I look at it from that perspective, 45 minutes is, is what I call cheatable, mm -hmm. meaning you can go to sleep 25 minutes early. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know, there, there's so many ways. You can for, squeeze that in. No matter what your situation is, yeah. you can squeeze yeah. 45 minutes mm -hmm. in. Straight up. Focus more on the nutrition. You know what I'm saying? Like I always tell people, like, don't put so much energy and willpower behind exercise. Just move. Right. Use all that energy and willpower to, to get your nutrition together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's a better investment of that energy, you know? Yeah, that's my struggle. My battle's at the dinner table. Yeah. I love sweating and working. It's just a mm -hmm. trait I picked up from a kid. I don't mind hard work, but I sure do mind not eating yeah, a cookie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And the thing is, can you eat a cookie? That's the problem. Yeah, so you see, know the problem. Because you said a cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a yeah. cookie ain't even, that's fun. That's you cool have a cookie. cookie. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah, I made a cookie before without chewing it. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking pill. Yeah, a little bit Yo, I got that one now so I can taste it. And yeah. that's my problem too though. Like, if I can, if I can just have one or two, I'll be golden. Right.